All right, let's get started then. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope everyone is doing great. My name is Lily, and I will be your host for today's seminar. And I'm also joined by Justin, who's going to be explaining some more information about an upcoming competition opportunity to you all later on. For this information information session today, we will be covering some really critical information about both YEFA school chapters and YSIC, which is our upcoming competition. So please stick until the end where we'll have a Q&A opportunity for you all to ask any questions that you may have about these two opportunities. So starting with YEFA school chapters, the purpose of YEFA school chapters is to bring YEFA to your local community so that more people can experience this opportunity. But first, what is YEFA? YEFA is an IRS approved 501c3 nonprofit organization. Notably, YEFA is self operated. So, what that means is that the structure allows students, high school students, to act as the main leaders and run the majority of YEFA's operations under, of course, the guidance of adult supervisors. Broadly speaking, YEFA's mission is to instill hard skills relating to entrepreneurship finance and business, and also soft skills like management into youth who can then apply these skills to real world situations and create meaningful change. YAFA achieves this in a few core ways. One is by providing top quality resources and guidance from industry professionals and elites to different students so that they can achieve exceptional results in business related competitions like the Wharton Investment Challenge, Diamond Challenge, etc. This ranges from keeping teams to a strict timeline, reminding them of deadlines, refining their deliverables, and making sure everything is perfect overall. In addition, YEFA provides students with a vibrant community of like-minded, equally passionate people. It regularly hosts seminars, including the Gen Z seminar series, in which guest speakers give different topics on things like possible career fields or investment strategies. Finally, through VisWise Academy, you can find a variety of free online courses, opportunities for online internships, platforms for volunteer teaching, and more. So with that being said, we strongly encourage all students to join YEFA, and we'll be linking the Discord server for you to join in the chat box at a later time. Again, it'll be a great opportunity to engage and discuss for like-minded peers. So for YEFA school chapters in particular, so far we have had more than 20 chapters in the US, Canada, and China. To give you an idea of where these locations are, you can visit our website, yefa.org, and you can go under the program session to find our different clubs lists. So specifically, we have these different high schools across the US, China, and Canada. Now, how do you start a school chapter for YEFA? There's only four steps. So first, you need to find like-minded peers who are going to be interested in doing the YEFA club. And our requirement is that the founder should recruit at least five members to attend YEFA events or YEFA meetings in order for you to be applicable for starting a club. Now, what's interesting is that you don't need any school approval for these clubs, so you don't have to be officially recognized by your school to have a YEFA school or local chapter. Next year, you're going to fill out our registration form. Again, this will be available through the YEFA website, which is just yefa.org. And we have a registration job form on there. And once you complete the information, you'll be sent an email. And through that, you can fill out different um, necessary forms to start your own club. And then once you have your club started, the last step is just to, of course, participate. What this means is that you can promote and organize different YAFA events, including attending competitions or the online courses. And really, you have a lot of flexibility with how to operate your clubs at the different club meetings you may host or the different competitions that you are going to attend. Now, to give a couple of ideas of how you can run the YAFA club, Obviously, you'll have support from YEFA headquarters, so if you ever need any resources, feel free to reach out to our HQ and we can get you set up with whatever you need. You can have self-study sessions. YEFA does offer free study guides and materials for its members to learn investment-related materials, so you can definitely cover those during your meetings. We would also recommend having monthly meetings. The president should attend the monthly meetings and then you'll be reporting progress back to HQ so that we can give you any help that you need, including regularly updating the amount of members in your club so that you can achieve different membership statuses. 
You can also organize events. YEFA holds seasonal conferences and competitions, like I mentioned before. So presidents can join our founding team and promote these different events to students in your school and in your chapter specifically. And then finally, of course, once you're done promoting these, you can participate in them yourselves. Hopefully you'll have a couple of teams from your school attending these competitions. And then that way your chapter can learn about investment and business through these interactive opportunities. To give you a better idea of the structure of these school chapters, it'll be like branches of the YEFA HQ team. So in our YEFA HQ team, we work closely with a parent committee and also senior advisors. And then from us, you'll be receiving different information for your school chapter. For your school chapter, you'll have all of your members, of course, a president, and then you'll also have a secretary as some of the starting officer positions, which will be offered. Now let's talk about some benefits of starting a YEFA club. I briefly touched on this earlier, but through your club, you'll be able to access free financial literacy and investment classes through things like VizWise Academy, access to YEFA's various conferences and competitions with different cash prizes. And you'll also have a chance to organize and promote these events yourself. You can also earn hours served for the club, which are qualified to receive the President's Volunteer Service Hour Award as long as you're tracking your hours. And then finally, this is a great platform for you to present and promote events for different members of the Gen Z and overall a leadership opportunity for you to enhance your local impact. So that is just a brief introduction to YEFA's local school chapters for today. And now I'm gonna pass it over to Justin to talk about YSIC. Yeah, so YEFA offers its members lots of opportunities, including competitions. And um, YSIC is the main competition that we have going on right now. Um, so YSIC is a Youth Sustainable Investment Challenge. Can you flip to the next one? And what it is, it's, it's an ESG themed portfolio management competition. So ESG, if you don't know, is environmental, social, and governance. Uh, and this basically just promotes sustainable um, investing. And this competition allows any student from sixth to 12th grade to attend. Um, there's no background knowledge necessary because YEFA will provide materials if you're not familiar with the content. So in that way, YSIC can help you prepare for future related competitions. So for the actual competition, each team starts with a million dollars in cash, and you have three months to build an ESG-related portfolio. And finalists in the competition have the opportunity to present their investment strategy to a panel of Wall Street judges in New York. And we just sent the registration in the Zoom chat. So we haven't updated timeline because we realize that many schools don't start up until mid-September. So that's when registration will close and the competition begins one week after that on September 19th. And there's gonna be three rounds to comp four rounds to competition. So one of them is trading. Um, next one is writing your report. Actually, there's three rounds. It, it can be a little bit confusing on this timeline, but yeah, so there's three criteria in this competition and um, Trade uh, your trading, your report, and your live presentation. So can we flip to the next more detail about that? Yeah. So for quarterfinals, um, participants are only judged on your portfolio's performance, which is the trading aspect of the competition. So we're going to be doing things in a virtual stock simulator, and your team will manage the one million dollars in virtual cash through there. And the top sixty teams, based on performance alone we'll make it to the next round. So for the top 60, all the teams write a final report and that will be submitted in December and that will judge your investment strategy. From there, the top 30 are chosen. And then for finalists, that's after the top 10 are chosen, um, you're giving a live presentation in New York City and you'll have the opportunity to meet Wall Street judges and win cash prizes. So you'll be able to pick up a few skills from this competition. Um, most importantly, you'll improve your finance skills. You might not know much about investing in portfolio management or finance in general before this competition, but through learning, through 
accessing our materials, you'll be able to improve your finance skills. Next, you'll be able to learn how to virtually trade through our platform. Um, you'll be able to have a hands-on experience and buy stocks and bonds. Um, and then, of course, you'll have communication and time management skills uh, because you have to work in teams of one to three students. So you'll have to manage your time and communicate efficiently. And lastly, this is a nice touch to your college application, especially if you want to major in business or finance in college because it's related to your major. Okay, for prizes, the first place team will win $3,500. The second will win one, two grand and the third will win one grand. And teams four through 10 will each be getting a $500 cash prize. So those are the prizes that we have. And that's it for YSIG. Awesome. So now that you've heard a little bit about the Yefa school chapters and also YSIC, which are two of our big opportunities we are having for Yefa right now, we are going to have a Q&A session. If any of you have any questions about either of those two opportunities, feel free to either unmute or send your questions in the chat box, and then we can do our best to answer them. Yamu Shi, if you have a question. You can yeah. unmute. I had a question about like the, the like the materials that uh, you mentioned, like we could access, like what exactly will we be able to access the materials? And also like, what do you like these materials? Thank you. Okay, these materials will be will soon be posted on our websites in a week. And we already have this um, after you have um, your, your team um, together and we will uh, give send you the forward email um, so you can have these uh, materials by by week mm -hmm. and you can follow the steps um, so the so probably uh, there will be a half a week before you receive your first um, learning material okay got it thank you mm -hmm. all right next Emma Chong uh, what is the uh, minimum age to participate? Okay, so for VISIC, it's grade six. Okay. And also, can I uh, can I join like a different team or I have to create one? Um, if you don't have, a, you can't find the peers in your school, like, because uh, our um, participants already have their own team or they decided to, um, participate as a single uh, competitor. So um, it's up to you to join by yourself or join with the team. But um, just to remind that if you join with your team and if you get to the final round and you have the cash prize, you have to split the cash with your peers. Yeah, okay. And also um, like I found on the forms that, um, uh yeah uh, yeah minimum age was like grade seven so uh we we changed it until grade six today so oh okay um, so, okay so okay sure that mm -hmm. so okay but I, I still see like grade seven yeah okay. we'll make sure to update the forms later okay so like it will update shortly mm -hmm. yeah okay thank you yeah thank you for your questions and also the chat is blocked so yeah Please uh, unblock. Oh, it. okay, okay, yeah. Let me, Scarlett, can you unblock the chat? I okay. gave you co-host, so you should be able to. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yeah, thank you, Emma. Let me see. All right, next, Maggie. Maggie Xie. Hi. Sorry, I missed the. Uh, uh, I joined late. Just a question. So, is that free to join the competition? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yep, thank you for your question. How how much? Uh, sorry, another question. How much time uh, do you um estimate me to spend um for this competition? The total time. So in the first round, which is only trading, all you have to do is trade stocks and build up your portfolio. So that shouldn't take much time. But for the next part, you have to write a final report, which is roughly fifteen hundred words. So that might take a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And then if you make it to finals, you have to basically tr uh, transcribe over your final report materials into a presentation, so. Um, Got it. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. 
What is an ESG strategy? So an ESG strategy is a strategy that relates back to ESG, which stands for environmental, social, and governance. So it's just sustainable investing. Where can we learn more? We have, we should have materials posted shortly. Everything will be on the Yafa website. So yafa.org. Uh, can you like get the previous year's presentation? Um, this is the first year this competition is taking place. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you for your questions. Um, next, MH. Feel free to unmute. So how many people do we need to join this? And um, can you put, put the websites for each in the chat? So for YSIC, it's teams of one to three. And then for local chapters, you need a minimum of five people in your chapter, including you if you want to register for one. Okay, also the chat is still um, not, oh, never mind, the chat is working now, thanks. All right, thank you. Next, Alexander Zay. All right, so for, I'm, I mean, sorry, why sick? Uh, do the participants have to be from the same school? Uh, no, they don't. You can form teams from all schools and across all the age levels. So any school, anyone from, Grade six to 12. All right, thank you so much, sir. No problem. Thank you, Alexander, for your question. And then Andrew Lee, also our chat box should be working now. So you can either raise your hand and then I'll give you permission to talk or you can ask your questions in the chat box. All right, so um, the stock market we're trading on, it's gonna be like exactly the same as the one in real life. And it's gonna be like influenced by like things that are happening around the world or is it like artificial? So it's virtual cash, but it reflects real-time prices. It's called stock track. You can look more into it if you want. All right, thank you for that question. I'm gonna go to the chat box for some questions now. For William's question, we've updated our timeline because many schools don't start until mid-September. So the new registration deadline is gonna be September 12th. Um, and then we award by overall. So overall first place, second, third, et cetera. Yeah, there's no um, grade divisions. We don't mm -hmm. separate like middle school from high school. And Angel, yes, you're responsible for finding your own group. And Justin, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can also enter as an individual. Yeah, without you can. A group. Teams, in teams of one to three, so. Okay, Um, someone asked, could you put the links to both websites in the chat? Here, I'll do that. Uh, all right, sounds good. And in the meantime, if anybody wants to unmute, just raise your hand and then I'll give you permission to talk. And then I think Justin and I, we can both drop our emails in the chat because I saw someone asked for contact methods after this meeting. You can have them email info at Yafa. Oh, okay. It's just info at Yafa. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy, could you clarify what you mean by tutors? Okay, I'm going to put the email in the chat. If you have any questions after this um, information session, just contact info at yafa.org. Um, Alina, if you want to drop from the competition, like um, you can at any point, like you would just be disqualified. So for example, um, for the first round, which is just trading, if you don't place a minimum of five trades by, I believe it's October 28th, you'll just be disqualified. So if at any time you want to decommit from the competition, you can just stop participating and you'll be fine. Um, the you better have form a EFL club so that you can um, just organize, be more organized. Um, but if you don't want to set up a club, you can base, uh, you can just sign up for Vysic. Um, Vysic has no requirement uh, of EFL club. And also for um, uh, Hai Long, uh, it is okay uh, to um, that your parents or some, some uh, recognized uh, adult to be your um, advisor, we welcome that because this competition is only for practice and it's, it's like a real-time monitor. So um, as long as you get practice, we don't care whether there's a, um, an advisor or not. And Elena asked, um, I assume Elena means, does dropping out of YSEC affect future competitions at all? And is that doesn't need to be recognized by school part new? 
So as of right now, we have it set so that you don't have to be recognized by your school. But of course, if you can't get it set up with your principal or started as an official club or chapter in your school, that would be ideal. Um, if there's still confusion about it after this meeting, again, feel free to contact info at yava.org. That's the email. Yeah, it's because, uh, it's because some of the chapters have had logistical problems in contacting with their school and there's like restrictions. So that's why we added that part. Yes, you, you should, you can join the competition without starting your own chapter. But and we then, just highly recommend, we just highly recommend starting your own chapter so you can find more people to join so you can form teams easily, but you don't have to have a chapter. And then I think Susan is asking which virtual stock tool the students will use for the competition. So if Justin, you want to talk about stock track a little bit. Oh, I already messaged her back. Oh, okay, perfect. Um. And then when you form, for forming local chapter, you mentioned the president is required to join monthly meetings. Is the president a student or a parent? So the president should be a student. YEFA is a very student run organization and the person starting the local chapter should be a student as well. So the president, which is a student will be coordinating all the club meetings, joining the monthly meetings and doing things like that. Okay, perfect. Um, any other questions, you can keep them coming in the chat box again, or you can raise your hand and then I'll give you permission to talk. But that is all of the questions that I see in the chat box for now. Um, we can give it a couple more minutes. And then, okay, will there eventually be college level involvement or is it limited? Okay, so for YSIG and YFS Club, it's limited to um, high school and middle school students. Um, college students like me, we are only also as appear as advisor for YFA, but not as members. Pam, we'll be using a tool called Stock Track. Well, the competition teams have access to the materials the local chapters have. So the information that's going to be posted for YSIC, which is what I assume the competition teams you're talking about are, um, is going to be different from the information that chapter presidents will receive because we send chapter presidents primarily information about different resources they can use for their club. But if you start a school chapter and then a team from your school chapter attends YSIC, then obviously you'll have access to both resources. Um, Andrew, we have a registration page on our website. I sent it earlier in the chat, if you're interested. Is this the link to register for YSIC or for a local chapter? For a local chapter. And um, if you need the link for YSIC, I'll send it again. Track is a free tool. Uh, after you sign up, you'll be emailed information on how to register. So I guess just to clarify, Justin, is there any cost to enter YSIC or is it free? It's free. So there's no payment necessary. So again, if you need any information earlier, Justin sent the link to the YAFL website where you can find information on both YSIC and the local chapters. And Pam, you can sign up as an individual for YSIC or you can sign up with the group. Um, there's no artificial disturbances. It just mirrors the real life uh, markets. Um, the only differentiating factor is just that the cash is virtual. Like you don't have to invest your own money into it. And yes, the website is called Stock Track. Um, final results. Again, there's um, three rounds. The first one is based solely on performance. So the top 60 performing teams in the trading simulator. So uh, whoever has the highest return. Um, you make it to the next round. And after that, you'll be evaluated based on the final report, which is roughly 1,500 words. Um, it's a Word document. And then finally, um, there'll be the live presentation in person. Um, the website says it costs. Uh, we have a subscription that covers, is it 600 students? But um, you'll be given a registration link and you'll be able to sign up with no charge. Um, yes, we can send these slides. Actually, this whole um, recording can be sent out. Yeah, so we're recording this session 
um, if you visit the Yaffa YouTube channel, which I don't have the link of, but just, I'm sure if you search up Yaffa YouTube, it'll come up. We'll probably have the recording posted there for you to access. What we'll do is uh, we'll send out an email through info at Yaffa, and that will send you to a YouTube link with this recording. So MH asks, when will we be given the stock track link or code? After registration, we'll email you. And how many teams are projected to sign up? 200 to 300. And it's yeah, it'll be one account. Yeah, it's one account per team. So um, you'll designate someone who's in charge of trading and they'll place all the trades for your team. Um, however long it takes you. So a 1500 page report um, might take you days, it might take you weeks. Um, so it depends on each person. The important dates, if you could get that to, yeah. So this is the timeline. Uh, material will be on the YEFA website. So it doesn't matter if you register or not, it'll just be on the website regardless. Yeah, so a lot of the material will be on YEFA within a week. And then after you register, you'll be getting your stock track account information. Andrew, 100, uh, 200 to 300 teams, and each team ranges from one to three, so. So who will be the judge for YSEC? Yeah, we have a panel of Wall Street judges, so. Yeah, yeah so we'll be getting industry professionals to judge. So when you write your final reports, the people reading those final reports will be industry professionals, and the people judging your presentations will have knowledge in the field as well. Um, and also the top 30 teams will be invited to MIC and then uh, in the conference you can meet with um, Wall Street professionals and they will hear your presentations and they can uh, give you a grade based on your report and your um, and your presentation. Um, the conference like it's on the timeline so. Yeah, so as a reminder, we have the timeline projected here which is when all the different phases of the competition are gonna take place. So just to go over it one more time, the registration will close on September 12th. So you can start trading September 19th. That's when the competition begins. Then when trading ends on November 21st, quarter finalists will be announced. Then quarter finalists will write their reports, which are due December 9th. And then after that, based on how the judges judge the reports, we'll choose 30 semifinalists, which will be announced on December 15th. And then finally, these 30 semifinalists will be invited to attend the conference in New York City, where they'll have lots of networking and um, interactive experiences with professionals in the field. Um, and they'll also present their final reports here so that we can determine our 10 finalists. Two days. So the New York City conference will be two days. Um, Justin, could you get the Discord link? Um, I think Richard answered her question in the chat. So it's on the registration form. Um, okay, perfect. So Richard, the virtual trading platform is StockTrack. And after you register for YSIC, you'll be sent account information so that you can access your StockTrack account and start trading. It's just overall teams. You can form teams with anyone from grades six through 12, but evaluation is like, you're evaluated the same regardless of age. And yes, there's one division. Mm -hmm. 